Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Karisma and I'm from Indonesia. In this video, we're gonna talk about clean architecture in React Native. What is clean architecture? Clean architecture is a software design principle that promotes separation of concern, testability, and maintainability. It's a popular approach for building robust and scalable application. Here's five common clean architecture pattern in React Native. The first one is layered architecture. The second one is MVC or model view controller. The third one is MVVM or model view view model. The next one is monolithic. And then the last one is MVP or model view presenter. There is many more clean architecture, but this is the most common using in React Native. The question is, why we should use clean architecture? Clean architecture divides the code base into the distinct layer, with each layer having its own responsibility and dependencies. The key idea behind clean architecture is to keep the core business logic independent of any external framework or platform, making them more testable and adaptable to change. Clean architecture provides a modular and scalable structure for building application. Every architecture has a pros and cons. It depends what we use and what we need. On the other hand, we don't always need to use complex architecture. For example, if you are a single developer on your company, you probably don't need to create a really complex architecture. Here's five pros using clean architecture. The first one is modularity and maintainability. Separating concern into distinct layer make it easier to understand, modify, and maintain different parts of the application. The next one is testability. Clean architecture enables straightforward unit testing of the core business logic without complex setup or external dependency. The next one is flexibility and adaptability. It allows an easy replacement or upgrade of external framework or libraries without affecting the core business logic, providing adaptability and changing requirement. The next one is scalability. The modular structure supports independent scaling of different layers, ensuring optimal performance as applications grow. And then the last one is improved collaboration. Clear boundaries between layers and foster better collaboration as each layer can be developed and tested independently, enhancing team work and productivity. Like I said before, using clean architecture not always good. Here's five cons using clean architecture. The first one is complexity. Clean architecture are quite complex. Need to add planning and extra effort before start coding. The second one is learning curve. A lot of developers do not really understand clean architecture especially for junior developers. They will struggling with it in on the beginning. The next one is development time. Clean architecture will increase development time. Proper layer separation and dependency management can slow down the process compared to simple architecture. The next one is increased code base size. Additional interface or abstraction may increase code base size. And then the last one is performance impact. May have slight performance impact due to extra layers and abstraction. In this video, we're gonna try to create layered architecture. This pattern divides the application into layers such as presentation, application, domain and infrastructure so without any further ado 
Let's get started. The first one, what we need to do is to create a folder SRC. And then inside SRC, we're going to create folder presentation. Domain application and infrastructure. Okay, so we're gonna start from the domain layer. Usually, inside domain layer, they have entities and enums. What is domain layer? Like I said before, domain layer is a core business logic inside here. And then what is entity and what is enum? I'm gonna give you example. We're gonna create user entity.ts. So export cons, uh, interface user details and then they have ID, number, or string maybe. And then they have user, name, string. Yep. And then they have email, string, or anything. You can put inside the entities. You can put everything like if you have a product you can create product.mtt.ts and then you can write something like this what inside the product details and then what is type of data you can write write entities and then the next one is enums i'm going to give you example for enums user.enums.ts I'm gonna give you example for a user. For example, export enum user uh, login type. Uh, like you can write anything right here, but yeah, is login is login or maybe a uh, user type is like is admin and then is user yep you can import and export for enum so if uh, what is enum for? It minimizes for user or developer typo. So we can import enum, for example, if on the login screen, maybe on a home screen that need validation, is it user admin or is a user? Uh, now let's jump to the application layer. So we can just close this and then minimize for the domain. What is application layer? So the application layer act like a mediator between the user interface and the core functionality of the software system. It handling user interaction, application business logic, and coordination action. Usually on the application layer, we're handling about four state management. For example, we set up everything about Redux inside application. So I'm gonna give you example on the application layer. So we're gonna create like uh, reducer, reducer, and then slice and root state .ts. So inside slice, uh, for example, we got we have like uh, user dot slice dot ts. This this one is for the slice. 
uh, usually or the slash we gonna create export const initial state user detail uh, usually detail. Yep, just empty this and then we go, we're gonna create slice inside this this uh, if you haven't uh, really understand about slice you can see my tutorial on redux on the video before this so you can understand what i'm saying so yeah we put everything right here and then on the reducer for example we have like user dot reducer the ts we set up everything right here for the reducer and yeah usually on the application layer we set up on redux everything right here so we're going we're going to jump into the infrastructure layer what is infrastructure layer so the infrastructure layer in react native is managing device specific functionality integration to the api and platform related operation and also usually in infrastructure layer we can put third party integration right here we can just minimize here and then create a folder for example api tracking uh, maybe we can like notification yeah uh, for for the api we gonna create example like out api dot ts maybe product api dot ts out dot api dot ts yep we put all integration inside infrastructure for the api and then on the tracking for example we have mix panel the ts or everything like google analytic maybe the ts we put uh, regarding for the tracking inside here and then for the notification we put third party integration here like notification the ts uh, i don't know what notification service are you using but usually for the third party we can put everything right here so yeah that is for infrastructure layer now we're going to the presentation layer what is presentation layer so the presentation layer in the react native is responsible for rendering the user interface component and managing their visual presentation and interaction it handle it handle the visual aspect of the app including lay, layout styling and user input so for example we're gonna put asset inside here component screen yeah i think that's all from it and oh yeah and maybe for the application we can put i forgot to put right here utils and navigation yep for the navigation usually i put inside the application but some of developer they also put utils and navigation inside the presentation layer uh, it's up to you guys you can choose anything as long as you enjoy and really understand about it so what is inside the application usually on the asset we have images icons maybe banner or anything we can put right here and then inside the component we need to separate for each component like for example we have a text component 
and then maybe we have a card maybe we have a button yep on the text we have text component the tsx and maybe we have text button the component the tsx for the naming uh, file i usually using dot component blah 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 to make sure this one is the component uh, so if there is a new developer they really understand where is the coming from and for the car for the button maybe we have button dot component dot tsx and then maybe we have button dot circle dot component the tsx we can put everything right here and then what is inside the screen uh, i think i'm gonna close this first and minimize that's all for the component and then what is for the screen also on the screen we need to separate inside here for example we're gonna separate for the authentication and then for example profile and product Yep, right here inside out maybe we have a login the screen the tsx and also we have register the screen the tsx maybe we have verification the screen the tsx all regarding the out you can put inside out screen so we can separate all of this and then what is type profile maybe we have a profile screen itself the tsa and maybe we have change password dot screen dot tsa regarding for the profile and everything inside the profile screen we can put right here so we can make it more easy to understand and then more easy to find where is the screen from and then what what is stuck from so i think it make more uh, clean and easy to understand yep i think that's it for the simple explanation uh, regarding the clean architecture so yeah in the next video maybe i will create a a simple application like to-do list or maybe just a crude application but it will using clean architecture so I think it make more easier to you understand about it because uh, we jump it into the real project but I think it will take time to make it because as you know the clean architecture really really complex and it take time for development develop so you can help me to subscribe and like the video and share to your friends to help uh, other developers make uh, to grow their skill and I apologize if my English not really good uh, I'm still learning about it so don't forget to like and subscribe my channel it helped me a lot thanks for everything and see you on next video. Bye-bye.